Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Irish Garden. It's a great day for the Irish and their friends. So we really combed the earth to find a beautiful green granite, which we accomplished. And then we shared ideas on designs to honor the Irish poets and that the families could sponsor these dedication memorials and then put on what they wanted to remember their loved ones. Just to have our name attached to such a piece of heritage and sense of history in our community, I mean, where do you go from there? I mean, here is something that we celebrated the rededication of a garden that was over 75 years old already. And I'm just so honored that our family and our company and our team here was involved with the creative process, the, the finding of the granite, the creating of the plaques, hand engraving, all those. And when I selected uh, Lano, I, I felt very comfortable with the fact that they would get it accomplished, even if it was a difficult timeline. And it turned out to be a very difficult timeline. And if it wasn't for their effort 24 hours a day for the last six days, our monuments were six weeks late in coming from offshore. So having them there uh, involved emotionally and mentally in the garden in our dream here, the Irish Dream, uh, is exactly what we expected. And uh, we are very pleased. And uh, yeah, we have other monuments in mind for this location. They'll be the, you know, the person of choice. A garden is a sense of hope. You can't plant a garden if you don't have hope. And so today, we truly wish you all a cave me a falsehood to these Irish gardens. So I am sincerely honored that we could work together with the Irish community to create a lasting tribute will, that will be there that my great-great-grandchildren come back and say, geez, great-grandpa Milano created these plaques in the early 2000s, and here we are at 2,200, and his work is still visible in the Cleveland area.